Hello and welcome to an analysis of Deception vs Revival in the RLCS Week 2. There's going to be a lot of goals in this match. So let's battle the seat build. This is also Revival's second match in a row after defeating Take 3 in a 3-0 game. Pretty one-sided. And Take 3 will play badly. So let's see what they can do. So already here in the early game we are going to see how the match is actually going to evolve. We see this uh, Revival, I mean, with some pretty decent passing play, a pretty okay passing team, but we also see Deception completely shutting them down. I really was impressed by Deception's uh, rotation. They are really good at not sending two men for anything, and they really do trust each other. And right there, a huge mistake from Revival. I could, I couldn't see who it was. I think it was Hot Wheel. No, it wasn't. Who was it? It was Chromie who just missed that way too aggressive on it and had just a free goal for Deception. Uh, Chromie just needed to have more patience there and that would have been an easy save. In this next play we are going to see another brilliant rotation. And right here you see, not great clear by whosoever the first but come corrupted GG gets a really really good clear. And as we've seen in the replay, Chromie was going for boost, so there was absolutely no way of Chromie came back to that. And Vince, Vince, it was before, Vince just drives into goal, kind of going for a demo, I think, but of course not getting it because Chromie was so far away, so it was just going in anyway. Great clear by Corrupted and great rotational positioning by Deception. So this next goal is an absolute beauty. Bell with a pass out to Vince who put it up in the corner. Hot Wheels set was a bit too aggressively positioned and he doesn't have a chance after that great pass by Bell. And you can see Wins tries to go for boost but he's just too far away. Not Wins, I'm sorry, Wins made the beautiful shot but Hot Wheels set. So in this next play we are going to see Wins just playing well in this match but also a bad positioning and rotation by Revival. Hot Wheels set right here, he should be on the goal line at this point, he has lots of time. In Chrome, he's going for boost, even though it's a pretty big chance. And Gino, of course, being up there after he made a tackle off the wall, but wins just with a great placement, so it almost wouldn't have mattered. But I feel like Hot Wheels it could have been quicker to the line, and maybe prevented that. Gino Cop gets a bit of an unlucky touch on this, so it goes right up to wins who just plays the great in the goal. Hold on. It's Okay, so on to Revival's first goal. It's a pretty good wall pass right there. It gets a bit lucky. Corrupted G missing that, which he just can't do. And Bell, for some reason, not going in on the line. He, I think he, he thought that Corrupted G was going to hit that, and he took the chance. He probably shouldn't win there in front with four goals, and they don't want Revival to score any more goals. But he's a sub, so you must expect some mistakes from him. And he's been playing very well in the rotation this entire game, so let's just forgive him for that. Just to show another great decision to play by Deception. Vince with a kind of a bad touch there, but Corrupted, he's ready for uh, a save on the goal line, and Bill, he jumps up for it and clears it away. It's great. You see Vince not even going up for it. He's just expecting his teammates to be able to do their thing, and they do. It's great. And for the next goal, we see kind of a misplay by Chromie and also Hot Wheels Sid. Hot Wheels Sid and Chromie both going for that ball, none of them touched it. Chromie should have hit that and Hot Wheels Sid then shouldn't have been off for it, but he is like you can see in this replay. And Bell just gets a great touch and he scores. Good, good sub and play by Bell. And now finally to the last goal of the game, uh, Revival making some great back board plays right there and for some reason both Bill and Corrupted DG went for the same ball right there. So one of the first rotational positional <laughs> mistakes in defense this in this match by deception but I guess they kind of can afford it for it being in front foot forward this time. But it is just not the mistakes I expect to see from deception. They have really been good at trusting each other. But again Bill is a sub and you must expect him to make some mistakes. But let's move on to the stats. On the stats screen you can see that especially Deception is in front on um, saves and this is Corrupted G who did very well on defense and Vince did it extremely well on attack afterwards. And we just, this is what we saw in the match. 
deception with such a great defensive rotation and they were just able to save all of the things that Revival came with so Revival did never really look that dangerous in that match even though they had 8 shots in goal but we also saw their bad rotation by Revival with the only 2 saves that's just not enough especially not when the other team have 10 shots in goal and so it's quite clear why Deception won this match and it was fully deserved, well played Deception. But this next game is just insane, there's so many goals in it, but let's just jump right into it. So the first goal in the next match is a good pass by Hinokup to Kromi, who puts it past Bill, who for some reason is charging it wrongly. Bit of a mistake by Bill. And we have seen a couple of mistakes by Bill and he needs to be a bit better, but then again he's a sub. So it's okay for Deception for him not to be the best. So in this next play we see some great passing play by uh, revival Chromie to Gino Cup. Gino Cup just managed to pull it over. But Gino Cup right there with a great pass to Hot Wheels set. And then Gino Cup manages to finish it off. Some good play by Revival right there. Good passing play. But let's just see what actually went wrong. Corrupted G is a bit slow up there and Hot Wheels set is extremely fast up, so it's hard to really do. Bell with a great save right here. Vince, I think he drives a bit too far forward after he got down from the post, so Gino Cup gets a free shot and goal. You should be expecting the save to come over there, but it's it's very hard, so it's okay that he didn't. But it was a great hit by Hot Wheel and a great save by Bell. So this next goal, we're going to see a bad hit by Corrupted G, especially bad double hit and Hot Wheel set almost scoring on the rebound, and Chromie then almost scoring. And the pressure is just immense and Gino Cup managed to finish it off in the end. But this is all created by a bad hit by Corrupted G. And Corrupted G and Bill just haven't been playing that well so far in this match. I feel like they could have prevented the goal so far. And so for this next goal we see a pretty decent clear by Vince. But Chromie just getting to that before Corrupted and Bill and Hot Wheels it managing to hit it in the corner. Beautiful hit by Hot Wheels. But also a defensive mistake by Bell and Corrupted both going for the same ball. For once not trusting each other and I feel like Deception have lost some of their trust in each other and they really need to get it back to be able to come back in the this match. So after the fourth goal to Revival, Deception really needs to come back and Corrupted does it right away with a good touch pass to himself, touch pass to himself, it doesn't matter. But Revival again double committing on a defensive ball for no reason. No reason why Gino Cup should be out there and Hot Wheels said he can of course speed out, that's a pressure, but Gino Cup should have been further back just to prevent there being any excitement in this match. This goal seems to have brought the trust back into Deception and in this next play we will see that Bill he's going up for the challenge and grab it with an amazing save because he doesn't also go up for the challenge. Having one back always is a great thing. Good job by Deception right there, saving that. So in this next play we see a great 1-2 by Vince to Bell, up to Vince again, who's ready for it and scores. Beautiful goal, great passing play. And I think that Revival actually had a pretty good rotation right there, they're just a bit too slow to come up. Hot Wheels said seems to fail his jump and so Deception scores. That's what happens and it's not terrible by Revival but great play by Deception. So this next goal is going to show why you never go two for the same ball. Vince with a pretty lucky touch right there and as you can see, uh, Hot Wheels hit, hits Chromie away from the ball and he also gets a bit of a weird jump because of that. And so none of them save them and it just leaves the goal free for Bell who of course is being a bit aggressive because they are behind with two goals with only 140 back so you have to for the terrible play by Revival. So in this next goal we are going to see a great fitty fitty by Vince right here and Vince then making a great pass to Corrupted who almost scores. It was really good play and good follow up by Bill to then make Vince score again. Vince just playing really well. He's such a good player when he really wants to. And they are now back from a 4 goal deficit, it's amazing, well played. I like this next goal by Deception, Bell with a really good contest and Corrupted rotating up behind him, Bell with another touch right there and Corrupted just with the pass into Vince, they just own them because of their great rotation and Revival can just not manage to get it out of their zone at all. Let's move on to the stats. As you can see, this match was way closer. 
revival with the four lead in the start, managing to throw it away, mostly because of Deception's great rotation, really beginning to trust each other again after they made a couple of mistakes in the start of the match. And when they didn't make those mistakes, Revival just didn't have anything to do. But Revival's passing game also fell apart and their defense slowly also fell apart. They just didn't have any confidence left in the end of that game. But let's move on to the next game and you might be able to predict who's going to win this because I think Revival is very tilted. Okay, so for the first goal we have Bell with a great play out to Corrupted who sets a great shot at goal. Junicov with a good save and Vince with the finisher. For some reason, everybody from Revival is in the corner and Hablosid is going back, so he's excused, but Chromie, he probably should have stayed in goal instead of trying to challenge that because he made a very low shot, Vince, so he would have had a great chance of saving it if he had been in goal, so bad Chromie. So up until this point, both teams have been playing very well defensively and not really letting in any chances. And right here we have another example of it, almost. This was of course a big mistake by Deception, one of the few times they have two players going for it, but Corrupted G with an amazing save right there. And Hot Wheels it with a big mistake and just becomes a slow roll from Bell? No, it was Vince that shot it into goal, but Bell just taking it away just to be sure at the last second. Which he didn't need to do, but he did it. It's fine. Bad, bad, bad play by Hot Wheels. They couldn't afford making these big mistakes in a game where they had almost tilted before and now they needed to score two goals against a very good defense from Deception. So this was the final nail in the coffin. Okay, so quickly after we have the next goal and it's hard to see what really happened right there. So let's just see the replay instead. Corrupted G and Vince with some great passing plays between them and Gino Cup probably should have gone back to goal instead of trying to save it weirdly. And for this next goal, yes, there's more hook to come. We see Corrupted G with, let's call that a fake, just for the fun of it, and Bill with just a free shot and goal, almost. Actually, I think Hot Wheels it could have saved this if he would have stayed on the goal line instead of being so far away from it. So for this last goal, Corrupted with a great clear and deception just keep on hammering on those nails to the coffin. They are already in deception. Just stop it. It's fine. You have won. A great clear by Corrupted and Revival. I think they've just stopped playing, so it really doesn't matter. So let's look at the match stats at the end here, where we can see that Deception is pretty better in almost every stat except of the shots and goal. Deception's rotation just stops every one of Revival's attack and goal, and Revival just they need to be more precise with the shots and better following them up because then they probably could have won against Deception and their defensive rotation have to be better. Revival played fairly well for the first three or four minutes of this match but broke at the 2-1 goal to Deception and Deception just took it away because of their tight defensive rotations. Let's move on to some overall match stats and let's start with Deception. Deception had a very good match and you can see how many saves they had, that is insane, 17 saves. Also a fair amount of shots with the 28 and 15 goals is of course also amazing on, in free games and 11 assists, so a lot of them were passes from their fellow teammates but they also managed to score on some solo plays or solo dunks, or whatever you want to call it. So let's just, I feel like Vince was the best player with seven goals and four assists and five saves. He was, of course, the offensive player and you could really see some great placement shots he had and good reading of the game too. Corrupted G, very good defensive player with the nine saves. That's really high and really good. He was always the third man and so you can see he didn't score as many goals as Vince, but he played very well. Really good play by Corrupted and Bell. Well, I didn't think Phil was playing that well. He's also a sub, so he's not that used to the team, but he did manage to fall very well into the team and to the rotation, and we didn't see that many mistakes. Maybe three or four bigger mistakes that led to goals or almost goals for a revival. But for a sub that is still very good. Good play by Bell, well done. But let's take a look at revival, who didn't play good at all in this match. Only 7 saves, 
six goals, but all of them assisted, so they played well together and they had to to be able to score on the exception. And 26 shots, that are, that's actually quite a lot. And that is probably the only good thing that we really did in this match. They managed to get a lot of shots from goal, but they just weren't precise enough. Okay, so my play of that team is probably Hot Wheels Sid. He at least had some good placement shots. You can see on it on his goal scoring, but all of them were a bit too anonymous and not really saving goals. Rome with four saves though, so he might have been the second best player. I don't know. It, it's really a toss up between all of them. All of them did that well. And Kino Cup with most goals and most shots, so probably the offensive player on their team. But it's really hard to see from this match because they just didn't rotate well on defense. They had some very, very good offensive moments, but they have to play better on this if they want to go on in the RTS. So let's just move on to a comparison between Deception and Revival, and you can clearly see the difference in stats. The only stat that Revival can match Deception on is shots, but that amount of save from Deception is amazing. That's basically what won them the game, their rotation compared to Revival's. And I feel like Deception, if they play like this, they're going to be a hard team for any team to beat in the RCS. And they might even make the lane revival though. They have a good offense and some good pass in place. And as you can see, all of their goals are assisted. But they need to have a better rotation to be able to go on to lane. I don't think they are going to make it to the lane. At least not if they played like they did in this match. But let's move on to the highlight of the game, and this is it for me. Bye bye. Goal on the side of Deception. This could be it here. A good passing play. Bell up to Vince. Vince touches what? it. What? Look at that. Between these two, Vince and Bell, they are watching out for each other. Vince sets the play up to Bell, then Bell tries to lob it over all the way into the corner oh for Vince, goodness. and Vince gets up for it. <laughs> what a. Just a display.